What is this? What could this section be? Morning everyone, so here we go, another hotel review and this time I'm in Newcastle, almost in the city centre, just out of it, maybe a couple of minutes walk and we're at Granger Apartments, Granger Apartments. Now from outside it looks a little bit rough, you know I booked cheap and cheerful because I want to show you exactly what's out there, I don't always have to stay in five star places, we'll slum it, we'll slum it in these places, but inside looks a lot better than outside you know don't judge a book by its cover now this place when we first booked it online that's what i went on um, cooking.com i found the cheap one of the cheapest ones i could find in newcastle and that this was it for 46 pound and honestly i am pleasantly surprised with this so i'll quickly show you so you have the entrance the door entrance then we have an extra table now this extra table means you can do some work on there, um, women can put the makeup on, but it just means you don't have to be laid down all the time. Now, this was a room for two. We were in a double bed first, but he showed us this room, and this is two single beds or a double, depending on how you want to use it. It also comes with an extra single in the corner. So we didn't ask for that, it was just part of the room. But then as well as the two beds, you've also got a sofa area which turns into another bed so realistically this room could be for four people now we put down two people and it was 45 pound 45 pound you know we're in newcastle center we're a minute walk away from the main shops and everywhere and we're in the city center we're in the car park but on this road westgate i think it's called there is so many takeaways which is perfect for me loads of takeaways but the room itself is clean it looks like it's had some sort of makeover it's got a modern feel to it um, part wallpapered part painted now the difficult bit about when the wallpaper rooms is it can scuff quite easily so down here there's a couple of scuffs on the wallpaper you know nothing really to shout about and um, the skirting boards could do with a lick of paint You've got a side table, each side, both sides of the bed there. And you have one radiator which heats the whole room up. The whole room is just heated up by that one radiator which is amazing, it was warm all night. But again, going back to the skirting board over here, you know, it just needs a lick of paint. Now the sockets near the wardrobe, the wardrobe is easily enough for two people, maybe not for four. But you've got an iron in there, but we couldn't find an iron board. A couple of drawers, shelves, which was more than enough for us. Now there's a, the USB sockets there, which when I was laid on this settee last night, came in handy when I was charging my phone. But there's no sockets next to the bed. So there's no sockets next to the bed, but there is USB sockets here. And there's also some right up there, which makes no sense at all. But there they are. Now, don't forget this is under 50 pound. This was £45, this room. Absolute steal. Now I'll show you the ceiling area, um, which is quite popular in Asian restaurants, Indian, Thais, and they've done the same here. So they've done a bit of work on the ceiling. You know where it drops down. Sometimes in the restaurants, they put LED lights in this section going all the way around, where this just has all the spotlights in the ceiling, but it doesn't have any lamp so the only light you've got is the window during the day and then at night time it is bright got a tv on the wall there a full length mirror and then over here you think what is this what could this section be so we'll take a look once we've been in the bathroom again all the doors and the decor is nice it looks quite modern and then you open the bathroom bearing in mind we've used this bathroom look at that So they've gone with plastic cladding, which is now a cheap way to do out a bathroom quickly. And a double size shower, which is a shower head at the top. Huge shower head. And it, it just drains straight out, all leveled with the floor. Then you've got the toilet, a big size sink, but everything looks modern in the bathroom, including the mirror. 
towel rail, which was also hot. And don't forget, this was under £50, £45. What do you think of the room so far? £45 in Newcastle Centre. Now let's open up under here. So, under this side, we have a fridge. And now we open these doors, and voila. Cups, plates, cutlery, a kettle, a coffee machine, microwave, and a sink with some mugs and cups. So we've got a kitchen area, or kitchenette, in the hotel room, in the apartment, all for £45. And I keep repeating that price because I'm shocked. I'm shocked about the price, you know. Little bits of TLC where they can't help where other guests have maybe, you know, ripped a little bit of wallpaper here and there. Um, but what a price. This is Granger Apartments. Now, on the same road, there's also Granger Hotel. Don't get mistaken with it. Look at the room. Look at it. I'm more than happy with it. I would stay here seven nights a week. So if you're watching this hotel review, if you've enjoyed it, put it in the comments. Let me know what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, what you want to see more of. Help me to make better reviews by putting your feedback in these comments, by liking it, and make sure that you share the post. So we're going to go to Metro Centre now. I think that's it for the room review. I think you've seen everything that I can show you. But Granger Apartments in Newcastle, Westgate, an absolute bargain of a hotel. Get it booked now.